Okay, you're on. Good evening, and welcome to a really big show. You say shoe? Shoe. Oh. And now, here to officially open our Christmas video, just in from Holland, the Dutch version of Santa Claus. Let's really hear it for Santa Claus. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the 1991 KLSY Christmas video. Ho, ho, ho. Welcome to the KSL Christmas party. KLSY. KSLY. No, KL. S Y. Okay, you gotta do this again. <laughs> okay, take two. Yeah. Ho ho ho! Merry Christmas! Welcome to the K S L Y Christmas party. Uh, K L S Y. That's okay. We'll get it the third time. Uh, are you gonna write this down? Or... Um, <laughs> let's see. Wait a minute. K L K L S Y. Instead of Noel, think K L. All right, whenever you're ready. Uh, KL, that's what. Yeah. Ho, ho! Merry Christmas, everybody! Welcome to the KL SY Christmas party. There you are. Ho, 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 ho! You know, I feel bad about yelling at Julie that way. One typo out of 300 pages? I'm sure Dudley understood we meant hurry instead of Harry. Look at her. TJ Deli is here. Hey, they said there's not much food, so you better hurry. You better hurry. You better Harry. You better Harry. You better Harry! Harry. 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 Oh, Gary, I promise I'll never do it again! Harry? Harry? You want Harry? I'll give you Harry. Can I get you some coffee? Damn it, Marlene. I told you to get these chairs out of the hall. I know. I know. No, Gary! No! What's this piano doing here? I'm sick of these sales charts always around. You're staying way after five tonight, sweetheart. Sounds like Gary's quitting smoking again. Didn't I ask you to take these curtains to the cleaners? I'm sorry, I'll take it down now. Oh my God, Julie forgot to take the curtains in. Gary, I suppose she didn't tell you. Norman is waiting for you in his office. Oh, great. Just great. All right. Everybody get out of my way. Coming, Norman. I'm coming. It's the KLS Why Are You Doing This, Girls, doing it like they'll never do it again. If you want the best curve, call Ham Essence! That's the style for your hair! John, line one, please. John, line one. Oh! First it was Farm Aid, then it was Live Aid, then it was Band Aid. Today, exciting news from Seattle, Washington, about a new concert to benefit yet another stricken and impoverished group of people. We have with us today two of the Western world's great religious leaders, the Bhagwan Sri Rajneesh and Mother Teresa, here to announce plans for the, uh, for the latest concert. Could you tell us a little bit about this new concert called Avail Aid? Uh, it, it benefit. Benefit? Benefit. Benefit for KJR and uh, King AM. That's it. I good music. Hi, Barb. Is Joanne here? I think so, but I think she's getting ready to leave. Oh, good, because he's all start Monday.
I wonder if we could get uh, a small sample of some of the some of the musical entertainment that we can expect at, at your concert. Now, your concert is where, first of all, where is your concert to be staged? Uh, we haven't figured out all the details. We're still working I see. on where. And so you're looking, for, you're looking for some input, possibly? Uh, now? Well, I mean, uh, it's sort of. No, it's not late. Oh, well, so we're going to do the concert right now. Okay. Oh, call toll free number, which is on your screen, uh, and you're going to begin your musical number. All right, ladies and gentlemen, avail aid. Two, three. <laughs> Excellent, excellent. Could you, could you tell me what song that was? That was Combination, My Sweet Lord, and Saints Go Marching In. Of course, with the religious connotations, what else uh, What else could it be? Hey, we, we went to a lot of trouble. We took lessons. We took Michael Jackson dance lessons. We worked in this routine. Brooks over here, you ready? Here we go. Ready? Go. I don't think this is going to work. This is going to be very effective. Oh, it's working. It's working. Seriously. It's working for you? Yeah. Well, I want to thank you guys for coming in today, taking some time out of your day, and uh, joining me for our first meeting of the Kixie DJs. I, I don't want to take too much of your time, but we do need to get together from time to time and just go over the air checks and discuss promotions and, and uh, just basically communicate with each other. Okay, let's fly. Dudley? Dudley who? Yeah, right. Please hold. Okay, let's fly. No, this isn't 911. Please hold and I'll get you the number. Okay, let's fly. Whatever happened to Lila Renee? Nothing. She was she was always that way. And now, inside the movie Meister, with KLSY's Dave Sloan. all this stuff. I thought I told the guys to get this stuff out of here. Chris's cabinet, a guitar. Oh my gosh, Tim's coat is laying here. What, what is this? What? I want to get out of here now! She didn't have any crease. That's the right garbage on it. We're having our big employee discount sale. Yeah, you could buy from that other guy down the hall. But we've got to move all these 94s. And unless you're picky about color, now's the time to buy. I mean, why pay more? And remember, we recycle your own wreath to charity. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, Alice. Hey, Heather. Look. Rob, Bob, 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 and Dan. I suppose you people think this is funny. can't think of anything funny. But leave me alone. Get out of here. Barb, is Joanne still here? Well, it's five o'clock, but I think she still is. Oh, good, because these all start Monday. This is the station. Only the wallpaper has been changed. Protect our vision. Yes, as you can tell by the sign, we're here at the home of KLSY Old Fashioned Draft, where we're about to walk down the hall and actually listen in on a KLSY staff sales meeting. The following scene may be too graphic for some viewers. Parental desertion is advised. Okay, for starters, everyone, I'm going to need a little more cooperation from you people. Here to demonstrate what I mean, Marsha, Marsha, turn around and smile for everyone. See, that's what I'm looking for. Now, for those of you who continue to ignore me, I'm going to book you aboard this Horizon Airlines getaway to twist. And another thing, here's what I expect. I expect all of you to be in. Scott, get your hand off my knee right now. Every single day. And I left Salt Lake City for this. Um, I expect the number you have reached is not in service. 
Now, yeah, everyone, attention. Yeah, recording. This week we're starting your analysis test because there are rumors that someone is talking with KVI KPLZ. Now, due to budgetary reasons, we are not going to have cups, but instead are going to use these old Alpac promotion proposals. You want to pass these around? And that's what we're going to do. We're going Hold to one of them up, Jane. Okay. Bet I can hit it from here. Around and we've already heard in the promotion meeting, <laughs> piss on this. And we move it just to the right. To continue that theory. You know, I and bet we could get uh, Emerald City Plumbing to co-op these tests. Test, and I'm going to kill anyone who's talking to another radio station. And uh, we just need to kind of keep... This space rolling. available for advertising. To bring me coffee every morning. I expect you to feed my cat when I'm out. I wonder where Marsha gets her nails done. I need each of you to make 15 proposals every week, in-person calls. Um, to take yeah, yeah, yeah. Wrap it okay. up, Jane. I got a nail appointment at 9. Phone calls every week. And uh, that's it. Any questions? The KLSY sales uh, staff. Jane, what kind of wine do you serve with tuna casserole? The few. The proud. The conniving. I can't believe I hired all of these people. I think there's bad K in this coffee. The management of KLSY Radio would at this time like to denounce any and all rumors that General Manager Tim Davidson is offering pay bonuses for any information leaked to him out of these sales meetings by clever staff members. All sales will be final. MasterCard and Visa welcome. As some Chinese philosopher said, dig a hole big enough, and everyone will want to jump into it. Hi, I'm Mike McVeigh, program consultant and president of McVeigh Media. Some people say, all I do is repeat what the program director says. Your fly is open. Oh. I picture the gap between your front teeth when you smile so lovingly. And the way your eyes cross so sweetly. I miss you. But tonight, I have your sweat socks to keep me company and remind me of your essence. There's nobody here. I gotta get some opinions for Marsha. Hey, Julie? What? Are you here? Can I come on in and get uh, an opinion for Marsha? I need some MLS. Oh, I'm in a meeting. Well, who's in there? Come on, let me in. Alex, we are here in a meeting. Well, this is important. It's for the show. We're busy. So, all right, you guys, you asked for it. Do you guys think there's too much violence in radio? Okay, the next item on our agenda is the Space Needle. And uh, there are some new things that they wanted to try this year for a New Year's Eve party. One of which would be bungee jumping off the ODAC. Oh, so, I, you know, I wanted to throw this idea out there. And the first thing that I want to make sure is that uh, we don't get hung on the salad. Hung up on the salad so much that we miss dessert. Oh. Hi, I'm Susan Gwab, Space Weather News. What are you doing? Trying to get my best side? Don't do that. Don't put that on the Christmas tree. Huh? <laughs> Mike Wallace, 60 minutes. I really appreciate you coming in. You are definitely qualified for the position. But you've got to understand, Bruce, you just can't be your own co-host. I can get out of my contract. It's not a problem. Just go to work. Well, okay, sorry to waste your time. Thanks for coming in. Next! Okay, guys, come on. This isn't that dry. It's your radio station, Joe. Now, one time with feeling. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, and you clap your hands and like radio, you'll get seven and a half million dollars. Seven million. Million. <laughs> I believe. <laughs> That's right. Are we ready to go? Yeah. We weren't rolling or anything there, were we? Oh, yeah. I'll get you for that. It's a brand new innovation called the KLSY All Request Drive Through. Let's go out into the lobby and give you an idea of how this thing works. Hold one moment, please. Good afternoon, KLSY. May I take your order? 
Hi, my name is Tim J. Hunter from KLSY. Is this your teddy bear you got from the KLSY Teddy Bear Patrol? Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's so cute. What's his name? What's his name? You don't, you don't have a name. Well, I, oh no. Let me see. Oh, he's over 10 inches tall. Here, look. We're going to have to take this one back, but here's a card, and whenever you come by the station, we'll give you a new bear. They'll be the right size. Okay, is that good? That's good. It's my bear now. Thank you. I've been at KLSY for three and a half years, and we've set some sales records, some high and some low in that period of time, but I find out around the radio station I'm getting to be known for one thing. At Fugit Ford in Enumclaw, where it's easy to buy. Uh, well, I'm, I'm not sure about a remote. We don't normally do remotes, but hang on just a second and I'll ask our program director. Chris! That's, that's, that's right, I am. That's right, I am Bruce Murdoch. You listen, Bogwan and Mother Teresa? You listen to our station? Yes! 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 yes. yes. Contest! Contest still fixed! Two years! Two, Two years. years! Oh, what do you mean the contest is fixed? Well, the fixed, I mean. Well, rolls! <laughs> right to win rolls? Wild line? You play wild line all the time. Fine. You play wild line every time. There's a Rolls Royce on the wild line. Never one move. Where'd it go? Chevy Blazer. <laughs> L line. <laughs> 99 boxes of bears on the wall. 99 boxes of bears. Take one down, pass it around. 98 boxes of bears on the wall. 98 boxes of bears on the wall. 98 boxes of bears. Take one down, pass it around. 97 boxes of bears on the wall. Hi, my name is Wendy Popkin. I'm the new promotion director here at KLSY. Things are going really well. Everybody's been real friendly. Well, there's only one thing. Um, well, the previous promotion director, her name was Julie Bradford. I guess she was really well-loved. People talk about her a lot. Sometimes I feel like she's still here. Like I haven't really taken her place. Like she's behind me. She's around everywhere. Her pictures, her thoughts. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I'm probably just being paranoid. <laughs> Dudley, I'll call you back. I don't have time for this now. These facts just came from your minutes. Have Marcus and Kim come in? Okay. Lester, would you come in here for a second? I need you to take a letter for me. All right. Okay. Letter to Gary. Dear Gary, um, in going over the budget proposals uh, and what uh, we need for next year, I have uh, some concerns. We're back. All right, we're back. The Tom Snyder Holiday Special. Look out, Terry Como. <laughs> With us tonight, we have a special guest from uh, we don't know where, but uh, we're going to go to him right now. Uh, a man we don't know where he's been for the past couple of months. Why don't you fill us in? Here he is, the Bogwan, Sri Rajneesh. Bogwan, what have you been up to for the past couple of months? Hi, Mom. Hi, and welcome to the uh, KLSY and Kixie Christmas video for 1993. Uh, Bobby Irwin and Tim Hunter here, and uh, we're going into the editing phases of putting this thing together, but before we go any further, Bobby wanted to say some, some things. Well, for the past few years, it's come to our attention, on behalf of KLSY and KX and management, that, that Jim Stevens has been the butt of many a joke. Uh, in a KLSY videos, and, and, and I think it's about time we lay off the guy. I mean, for years and years and years, it's been nothing but hard times against old Jim, and I, I'd like to see us lay off of him. So, this Christmas video, no negative Jim Stevens references, no. Okay? I don't think we'll mention him once. No. You're ready to go back? Yeah, I'm ready to go back. Thanks for, yeah. thanks for your attention, thanks. and thank you for, for, attention, thank you for, for understanding that something's not right. I think there's something wrong with the audio. No. I, it's, it's, wait a minute. It's like a bad Japanese horror film. Godzilla? Hello? Uh, you know what? Yeah. Jim? Making me crazy. Jim? 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 
Jim, hello? Jim! Jim, he's upstairs making toast. It's still not working. Hello, I'm Dan Lewis, Como News 4. We have this breaking story to report tonight. An all-points bulletin has just been issued for Jim Stevens. We'll have Team 4 coverage with a full update tonight on Como News 4 at 11. Yeah, I got a missing persons report. Uh, uh, Jim Stevens, description about 4 foot 5, balding, wearing glasses. Uh, it's the only description I can really give. Apparently, he's never, never been able to be found. Based on his reputation, we checked the jail, the prosecutor's office, and the ladies' room. Tonight, personally, I'm not convinced that Jim Stevens exists. That's my opinion. I'm Brian Johnson. We've had a request for a wonderful old love song. You probably all know it. It goes something like this. Would you like to hear your favorite song? And what is that? It's the Mexican hat dance. Very good, Pancho. We'll play it. Ready? Hello? Jim? Yes. Jim Stevens? Yes, this is Jim Stevens. Jim, this is Bruce Murdoch. I'm I'm in the plane right above you. Can, do, do you see me up here? Bruce who? Bruce Murdoch. I'm in the small biplane right above you. I'm flying upside down looking at you. Are you sure? Yes. Yeah. That, I, that, Jim, I'm, I want you to come back to the station. Everything is going to be all right. Come back to the station, will you please? Jolly Christmas this year. 